Hey guys, Tom Maid here. Welcome back to How To YouTube. Today I'm going to show you 10 ways of how you can deal with haters. Alright, I've got two young kids who just started YouTube channels. I had to set them down and say, look guys, there are a lot of insecure people out there who the only way they can feel better about themselves is cutting you down. And the more insecure they are, the harder they're going to cut. Step one. There is nothing more that a loser hates than someone succeeding or someone trying to succeed. When I had 700 subs, I had haters. I got over 700,000 subs now on my main channel. I still have haters. I can upload a three minute video in two seconds after I hit the publish button, I will get 12 thumbs down and five negative comments. Some people just aren't happy unless they're unhappy. Step two. Realize you can't change the way people act. You can only change the way you react. And I'm telling you, nothing good could come from reacting to haters. Step three, do not confuse constructive criticism as hate. Sometimes someone's making a valid point. They're just typing it in a hateful way. A few months ago, I was doing Prank It Up Friday. That's where people would submit their pranks to me. I would upload on my channel and then push back to their channel. They would gain 500 subs overnight. They were happy. I was having a good time. But a lot of my fans, a lot of my subscribers, oh my gosh, they were giving me so much hate. These guys suck. What are you doing? We did not come here for them. We came here for you. And I ignored them. Like, I just kept on doing it. One day, I went to socialblade.com. Social Blade will allow you to see how many subs you're gaining on a daily basis. And allow you to see how many subs you're losing. I noticed a pattern. Oh my gosh. Every Friday, I was losing hundreds of subscribers because I was posting videos to Prank It Up Friday. So again, do not confuse constructive criticism as hate. Step four, do not let the haters keep you from creating. I've gotten so many emails in the past couple of weeks. Hey, Tom, I used to have a YouTube channel, but boy, I couldn't take all the, all the hateful comments and whatnot. Man, when you give up, they win. So do not let the haters keep you down. Step five. Do not respond to the haters. I used to waste so much time, you know, 20 minutes going back and forth with some some dude. And like, you know, no. Take the energy and put it to someone who deserves it. Like a fan who's there every week. Every time you upload a video, oh my gosh, Tom, I love this. They deserve your attention, not the hater. Step six. It's a lot like step five. Do not play fetch with the haters. You know, when you're playing fetch with your dog, you'll throw the ball. The dog will bring it back. What happens when the dog stops bringing the ball back? You stop throwing the ball. Do not bring the ball back to a hater because he'll play fetch all day long. Number seven, protect the people in your video from the haters. Oh my gosh, this is so sad. You know, you'll come to realize eventually, like me, that there's four or five things in your life, in your world, that you're actually worried about. And what some stupid hater is saying is not one of them. But unfortunately, you, the people in your videos can fall victim to it. A few years ago, I did this video, it was a prank, and we pranked a sweet girl, mid-twenties, African-American girl, so sweet, and she loved it. She said, oh my gosh, I can't believe I'm in one of your, I love your stuff, blah, 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 I'm in one of your videos. Uh, she emails me, she says, Tom, when you get that video up, can you send me the link? So I sent her the link. She said, oh my gosh, I wanna share it with people at my church, I wanna share it with people I work with, my family. Two weeks later, she emails me back, Tom, you got to take this video down. Some of the haters are calling her names. They were using like the N-word and all these racial slurs and whatnot. And someone said, oh God, look at that fat blah, blah, blah. And, and like someone from her church said, well, she just had a baby. You know, well, what, for breakfast? And, and so, geez, Louise, you have to protect people in your videos from the haters. And here's how you do that. Do me a favor. Click on Creator Studio right here. Go down to Community. Click on that. Scroll down to Blacklist. Here you can type words in that you do not want appearing in your wall. If you type washing machine in, look, if someone else types that in a comment, it will not show up. A great way to protect your wall and other people from falling victim to the haters. Step eight, get some tough skin, man. This is life. You have to not worry about this. The person who cares the less in life sometimes holds all the power. I don't care if it's in business, if it's in a relationship. You ever been walking through the mall and see some hot chick with some god awful ugly dude? because he doesn't care. If you quit caring about these people, eventually you'll realize that, hey, there's other things to worry about. So get some tough skin. Step nine, if you must, just block the person. If it's so bad, if he doesn't shape it up, you have to block him from your channel. Step 10, I hate doing this, but sometimes you have to disable comments on a video. You know, comments are how you engage with your fans and how you grow your channel, how you, you know, grow your views or whatnot. But man, if you got 95% of the people just hating on a particular video, 
disable comments. I will show you how to do that. There's a link in the description how to block someone and how to disable comments if you have to. I love you guys. Thanks for hanging out. If you have any questions regarding YouTube or anything, email me tom at tommabe.com or leave them in the comments. We'll see you next time. Hey guys, Tom Mabe here. Welcome to How To YouTube. Today I'm gonna to show you how to disable comments from a YouTube video and make it where the viewer can't see the like to dislike.